Welcome to Irwin Data Modeler Tutorial. In this section, we'll be discussing about uh, subject areas. Subject areas in Irwin lets us to break down the scope of the model into smaller sections and thereby making it easier to present or to understand the model. So for example here uh, in this uh, figure here what you can see is option 1 now by that I mean example 1 uh, say the entire model has say about uh, 12 tables okay and what I can do is use that in the main model section and uh, depict all of them with the relationships and in subject area 1 probably all these four tables that you're seeing here uh, right all these four uh, can be represented as one section probably they could be employee related information and that's why I want to uh, put them as a new model and only depict those models and similarly here uh, these four tables could be something say adjustments or some fi financial uh, related tables and I want to put them in a separate table with all the relationships so that it, be it becomes easier for presentation or for understanding and it's not necessary that uh, the tables in one subject area uh, cannot be uh, used in another subject area there are no such restrictions and uh, at the end what it boils down to is subject area is more or less like a visual depiction and you are free to use uh, whatever tables uh, that you want to use in that subject area so in order to show that uh, what I have done here is I have used the same table E13 uh, in subject area 2 and similarly E19 in subject area 1 in E19 here and it's also not necessary that your main model uh, should have all the tables it's up to us and it completely subject area uh, what it allows us uh, is basically for visual representation and we are free to choose any tables and even in the main model again uh, we are free to choose any models and show the relationships but generally if you if you keep the main model having the entire uh, set of tables and the relationships uh, whereas if you break down the subject area by uh, you know uh, selected a group uh, say for example employee related tables in one area uh, in one subject area financial related uh, tables in, in one subject area it might becomes much more easier for presentation and other than that there are no restrictions we are free to choose um, uh, the tables that we want and present in one subject area or the other or the. now let's see how we can create a subject areas in Irwin uh, so as you can see I have a blank a model here and let me rename the diagram to main model okay and say that I have uh, my entire model consists of uh, 10 table so I'll just create say, 10 entities here okay so this is uh, my model and assume that I have created relationships uh, across them and but what I also want to do is say this first four tables are related to employees and I just want to uh, create a diagram for these four entities and then discuss uh, with my business analyst and what I can for that what I can do is I'll create a new subject area and uh, I'll need rename that to one and I want to rename the diagram also as one so once I create a subject area uh, a new diagram is created and that's why you see a blank a model what I can do now is I'll just go and drag the required set of tables two three four and so this becomes a subset of my model and I can use it to uh, pre present uh, uh, to the audience I can also create uh, another subject area say 2 here and I'll rename the diagram to 2 and again I can I can have any set of tables in there uh, they, they can be used in multiple subject areas a single table uh, or an entity can be used across multiple subject areas there is no restriction to that it's just that based on the uh, discussion that you you want to uh, you can create multiple subject areas so that it becomes easier uh, for, for uh, your audience to understand uh, the, the model and creating this subject area does not affect your forward engineering in any way uh, the scripts will still be uh, generated uh, from your uh, main model and you can create 
um, multiple themes per subject area for example here what I'll do is I'll, I'll change this subject area to classic okay so I'm in subject area 2 and I created in classic but I move back uh, to my subject area 1 all you have to do is click the subject area and switch to and you still see its own uh, theme there so you can change the themes as well uh, for the subject areas uh, with this I conclude the uh, tutorial on uh, subject areas uh, hope you uh, found it useful uh, thanks a lot for watching